automations. Automations is what sets Smartsheet apart from many of the other competitors. Automations can do automations in the background for you, like changing cells, changing rows, changing sheets, notifying people, all while you're in your sleep, all, all while you're working on more important tasks. It takes the mundane things that you need done in the background and automatically does them for you. Once you learn automations in Smartsheet, and they're very easy to do, it will set you leagues above the rest. Because some people don't even mess with automation because maybe they're hesitant or afraid to do it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so that you have that confidence. All right, let's dive into it. Welcome to Workflow My Workload. I am your guide, Justin Arezio, and today we're gonna to be looking at automations. And I, as I mentioned before, automations are a beautiful thing. It, it frees you up to focus on the things that are most important to you, whether that's tackling other tasks in your company, giving you more freed up time if you own your own company. Um, automation can do so many things for you, and it also alleviates the human error aspect of things. And if you haven't yet already, I've created a full length lesson in the bio below, in the description below. It's absolutely free. Just gotta click on it, sign up for it, and you'll have it in your inbox. So please don't forget to grab that free lesson. All right, let's dive into these automations. All right, for this lesson, we're gonna use the sheet that we used in the last lesson for creating a Gantt chart. And we're simply gonna use this sheet to add a couple automations to this sheet. And in order to get to your automations, it's always gonna be found right here on the top left, automation. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna do create one from scratch. Now they do have templates for you, but simply for today's mini lesson, I'm just gonna do one from scratch to show you how it looks from the very beginning. So we're just gonna click here, click workflow from scratch. And the first thing it's gonna want you to do is give it a title. So we'll just say, uh, for this automation, uh, what the automation simply is going to be is when a task is complete, I want it to notify, let's say, my boss. And my boss will be Justin Arezio. So, notify boss when task is complete. And I always, this is just me personally, I always like to put a number in the beginning of the automation. That way, if I have a bunch of different automations working in the background, it's really easy for me to navigate and find which non, uh, notification that I would like to change. All right, the next thing here is called the trigger. And the trigger is simply what it's called. It's, it's the trigger. It's the thing that sets the automation in motion. So let's pretend there's a boulder and it's at the top of a hill. And right now the boulder is just sitting there on the hill. But if we want the boulder to go down the hill, crash into the town, and land into the lake, we want all that to be automated, we first have to push the boulder down the hill. And the trigger is just that. It's starting the process. It's pushing the boulder from the top of the hill down. All right, so the trigger, so we can do when a date is reached, when rows are added or changed, when rows are simply changed, or when rows are simply added. So I'm just gonna click this one, because it's both when rows are added or changed. All right, the next thing I'm gonna choose is which column is gonna be the one that triggers it. And so I can just say when any field changes. But let's go ahead and do, we'll do when the status, so the status column, when the status column changes to complete, I want it to notify my boss. So the trigger is when column status changes to complete, then it will automatically alert the boss. So let's go ahead and do the alert. And these, these are all the different notifications you can do after a trigger is set. They're all right there. But for today, we're just gonna simply do the first one, which is alerting somebody. So I just clicked on it. And by default, 
it chooses Justin Razio, which is myself, and I'm going to pretend that I'm the boss. And so when the status, when a column status changes to complete, it will automatically alert Justin Razio. And right here, this is important, you want to click on Customize Message because when I receive the alert, I don't want to receive a blank alert. I'll have no idea what that means. I need a subject and a little message letting me know what this alert is all about. So we'll say task is complete. And then that'll be my subject. And then down here in the message, I can give a little more detail. All right, task is completed. And what's cool <clears throat> with automations is within the message, you can actually, if you put in these double, here, I'll go and delete this real quick. If you put in these double bracket, brackets like this, and you put in the name of the column, then when they receive the message, at that row, it will put in that information. Now, I know that may sound confusing, but when I put in the data here and we test it, it will make a lot more sense. So let's do task is completed by, let's say I, whoever is assigned to this task, whoever is assigned to this task, I want their name to pop up. So if the task was originally assigned to Susan and she clicks task is complete, then I want that to notify Justin Arazio that Susan has completed her task at her row, has completed her task, that row is complete. And if you don't remember the name of your columns, you can click in this box, click this drop down, and it gives you all the names of the columns. Let's do task name. So what we're saying is the trigger, the boulder at the top of the hill, so to speak, the trigger is when status changes to complete, then it automatically notifies Justin Arazio that task is complete, and then it gives more of the details. Task is completed by so-and-so for such-and-such -such task name. And if you don't want the trigger to go off right away by default it does it right away um, but you can click on this drop down you can change it hourly daily and weekly and if you want to get more in depth more details of exactly when that trigger goes off then you would change it here you would set it up on a date and then you get even more details to work with on when you want that alert to go out but by default most people like it set up for ex when it's when it's triggered to happen immediately all right everything looks good I'm going to click this because I want all the sheet, all the references in the sheet to be shown. This one you can pick and choose which columns are going to be shown in the alert. And then this one is simply a message for the alert. But I want the person to receive a message and have access to everything within the sheet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then we're going to test this automation and see what it looks like. So here's our nav here's our notification. Excuse me, here's our automation right here. And as we start building up more and more, they'll start populating down below. And we'll go ahead and go back to our sheet by clicking in the top left-hand corner. And let's go ahead and change the status for flower to complete. So I'm going to change the status. Actually, let's put in a fake name here. We'll do Susan. This is Susan's task and she's working, la da 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 da. And she went ahead and completed the task of buying flour for the ingredients. So she's gonna go over here. She's gonna change it to complete. And then we're gonna go ahead and click save. We're gonna refresh. And then I'm gonna show you what that notification looks like. Um, you receive it in two different ways. You receive a smart sheet alert of the notification, and then you're also going to receive an email of the alert. So I'm going to show you both right now. All right, this is the notification that I received. And again, you receive an email 
and you will receive an alert in Smartsheet. So this one obviously is the email. So I know it looks kind of ugly right now, but it, it gives you a breakdown of, of what's uh, changed and it's been completed by Susan and it was the, uh, oh, I spelled flower wrong, look at that. It's supposed to be flower, not floor. Uh, flower for collecting ingredients. But if I want to look a little nicer, you can actually go straight to the sheet and it will give me the entire sheet so I can see in more detail what has been completed. And as we see here, it is the flower because it is complete. And just because it's going to bug me, I'm going to change this to flower. Okay. And the notification that I received looks like this. I'm going to click here on notifications. And it's right here. Task is complete. I'm going to click on this. So it says task is completed by Susan for, supposed to be flower, flower. And remember, I put in the brackets assigned to. I didn't put Susan, I put assigned to. But it automatically put in Susan and it automatically put in flower because that's the columns that I chose. So right here, look at this. So assigned to. Remember this, assign to for Susan and task name, flower. Let's go back to our automation, click edit, assign to task name. So Susan, flower, it automatically put that in for us and it automatically sent the notification to the boss. And that is how you do a notification to notify somebody. Let's add one more automation. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do create from scratch instead of using a template. And let's say changes, let's do a change cell. So we'll go ahead and do when status is complete, then automatically change percent to 100. All right, so let me go ahead and put this together here for you. So what I'm gonna do is actually, let me go ahead and back out of this real fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say when status, the status column, when the row changes to complete, I want this percentage to automatically turn to one turn into 100. So I don't have to do that manually because it's a given. If it's complete, this should automatically be 100%. Because maybe they're working on the task, and I see this happen. I see this happen a lot in industries. Um, they're working on a task, maybe they're 50% or they're 75% complete, and they're working on it. And oh, I finished the task. All right, I'm going to call it complete. Call it good to go. Well, this still sits at the last thing they changed it to. They're not gonna turn this to complete and turn this to 100%. Sometimes it happens, but most of the time people forget. So all I wanna do is when this status changes to complete, I want the percentage in the same row to automatically change to 100%. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll leave this at zero, Click save. Let's go back to our automation create one from scratch, put in our title. All right, the trigger. So same thing, when status changes to completed, that's the trigger. Then let's go down here. I want the change cell value. So I'm gonna select the column, go to percent complete, and in this box, I'm simply going to type in what I want the new cell to be, what I want that data to be. I'm simply going to put in 100%. And you can add more columns too. That will be part of this trigger. But right now, to keep it simplified, I'm just going to do this one column right here. So it's going to change to whatever it was to now 100% when the status changes to complete. All right, let's go and click Save, and let's test it out. Back to our sheet by clicking up here. All right, let's go ahead and do it. 
change this to complete. So watch what happens right here. We want to click save. And let's refresh the page. Sometimes it takes a second or two. But if you refresh it, it speeds up the process. Let's go ahead and scroll over. And look at that. It changed it to 100%. And we can delete all this. We can do it again. Let's do completed for this guy and completed for this guy. Click save. Again, we're testing it out. Click save and click refresh. And we scroll over and take a look. Look at that, 100% and 100%. It automatically did it for us. And I'm also gonna receive an alert any second. Oh, there it is that the task is complete. Because remember, our first automation is still in effect. So task is complete, there they are right there. For making into a ball and for rolling out with the rolling pin. So make into a ball and roll out to a rolling pin. So I got two automations working simultaneously at the same time. Um, I'm getting notified, I'm the boss, that a task is complete and at the same time, the percent um, complete column is automatically changing to 100. They're working together at the same time in the background. And if you like this lesson, I got a few more lessons coming up, but just for the heads up, I've also created an entire course that covers all of Smartsheet. And within that course, I have an entire section that covers automation. It covers every single automation that you can create within Smartsheet and how to set each and every one of those up. All right, I hope you enjoy this lesson and I will see you in the next lesson where we cover reports. All right, you guys, take care.